Well, switching gears, there's an easier way out there to retrieve parts of your car if they're stolen. In response to a sharp uptick in catalytic converters being stolen, one local company is introducing a way for those parts to be registered, thereby creating a record. And it's the first of its kind method in our area. Alex Love joins us in the studio to explain. It's Metallico of Rochester, Isabel. They joined the Brighton Police Department to hand out free catalytic converter identification kits to drivers so they can make it known this catalytic converter belongs to them and scrap recycling companies will know if it's stolen if thieves try to sell it. There was a huge demand for these kits since the event began. Brighton Police Chief David Cathaldi says this shows catalytic converter thefts are on the rise in our area. The goal today was simply to see if there's a need or want in the community for these kits. I was here right at 9 o'clock. Probably in the first hour, the kits were almost all gone. The kits were purchased by Metallico from a contractor in Europe. Inside was a non-destructible tag and etching fluid material that can engrave a serial number onto the converter, showing who it belongs to and the car it came from. This is an acid solution, which is why it's important to be protected. This will be put, put on this, and you literally wipe it on like a paintbrush. This will burn, literally burn this number into the metal onto this catalytic converter, and that's your specific identification. You need to bring your then drivers can go online to have their serial number entered into Metallico's system, who then shares it with every scrap metal recycling company affiliated with the Institute of Scrap Recycling Industries who can notify police if your converter shows up at their shop. What that does is helps law enforcement if this were still taken, the scrapyards that are accepting these, we can now find in the system who this actually belongs to, if, if different, who brought it in, and then we can start working with law enforcement to make arrests. Now, driving without a catalytic converter can do a lot of damage to your engine over time, as one of its main purposes is to turn is to turn harmful exhaust emissions into harmless gases. It's also illegal to drive without one in the state of New York. Isabel? All right, thank you very much, Alex. And according to Metallico, these kits are not currently sold in the U.S., but they do have interest in purchasing more soon and holding similar events to distribute more in the future.